Saudi Arabia used Israeli firm's spyware to track Khashoggi before he was killed, says Edward Snowden. Here's a summary of the article. Edward Snowden said on Tuesday that software from the Israeli firm NSO Group Technologies was used to help track the dissident Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, who was killed last month at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. The assertion that Israeli spyware has been used against Saudi dissidents was first reported by the Canadian research institute Citizen Lab in October. Snowden then suggested that the Saudis were able to gain information on Khashoggi by spying on his friend, who was also in exile in Canada. The reality is that they bugged one of his few friends and contacts using software created by an Israeli company. We don't know the chain of consequence because this company will never comment on this, but it's one of the major stories not being written about, Snowden added. Greater than greater than analysis, the dark side of Israeli technology, six takes on the sale of cyberattack firm NSO. The spyware also allows those carrying out the surveillance to read and write text messages and emails on the phone, to download apps on it and use applications already on the phone. Snowden described NSO as a company that is developing digital burglary tools and called it the worst of the worst in selling these burglary tools that are being actively currently used to violate human rights. Snowden went on to criticize the Israeli high tech industry, which he said fails to take responsibility for how Israeli made surveillance systems are used around the world. This post received a score of 6,560, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How does Snowden know? Hacking.gif. Sorry. Excuse me, it's pronounced gif. Fuck you, it's pronounced gif. Folks, you're approaching this all wrong. It's pronounced gif. To track him, he made an appointment at the consulate to file some papers. They knew he was coming. From the article. The Saudis, he continued, knew he was going to come to the consulate because he had made an appointment, but how did they know what his plans and intentions were, how did they decide that he was someone they needed to ask against, who was worth the risk? If they really had monitored him this tightly they would have known his fiance was going to be waiting outside. For those thinking this may seem far-fetched, monitoring him does not necessarily mean physically following in him in vehicles or binoculars on rooftops. What Snowden is suggesting is that email, web form, calendar data or correspondence had been intercepted or monitored which allowed them to be notified of a time and place. Unless there was written, digital correspondence between his fiancée and not verbal, it's very likely they were unaware she would be with him. Or, you know, he scheduled an appointment in the consulate which pretty much gave them a time and a place. Saudi Arabia and Israel, the Dream Team. Mohammed bin Jamin Netanyahu. BB Bonnie saw. These sound like wrestling names, like the Iron Sheik. And how would Snowden know this? It doesn't seem out of the question considering a Saudi dissident in Canada, Omar Abdulaziz, was a victim of a Pegasus attack. Greater than Citizen Lab stumbled upon Abdulaziz's case while conducting a larger investigation into government spyware campaigns worldwide. They had set out to identify countries where spyware known as Pegasus, sold by an Israeli vendor called NSO Group, had been used. Greater than but Citizen Lab has found numerous cases of abuse over the past six years where Pegasus and software like it is used against human rights activists, dissidents, journalists and political opponents. I mean, it wasn't hard, he was scheduled to go back that day to get papers. And hash X200B. SA didn't need some high tech spyware to figure out that Khashoggi was critical of their regime since he was a journalist and they could just read what he wrote. As for tracking him down, it's not like he knocked on their doors out of the blue, he made an appointment and showed up on time. What would Edward Snowden know about it? If they were using a PC with Microsoft Windows, then Bill Gates would also be responsible. Not to mention sitting on a chair from IKEA, let's drag Sweden into this as well. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.